Hey everyone. Okay, so I haven't made a coding video in a little while. I haven't really felt like I've been making a lot of progress with coding. It takes me a really long time to process things. That's always been the case for any kind of math or science fields, any field that have these little black boxes that you just have to trust in and be like, okay, this works that way just because it does. I feel like whenever I'm not in a good space, with coding, I don't really want to talk about it. It's kind of like that hill that um, Tim Urban has. I'll put it right here. At first, when you start like getting into something, you think you think you're right here, and then once you start to learn more, you just realize that there's so much more to learn, and so your conviction it tumbles because you're just like, wow. I was so ignorant and not knowing all the things that I didn't know. I think my fear in posting really just stemmed from like, I don't know what I'm talking about, so I don't know why people would want to watch any of my content on coding. If you haven't heard of imposter syndrome, I feel like it's like a buzzword now in the tech world. Imposter syndrome. A psychological pattern in which one doubts one's accomplishment and has a persistent internalized fear of being exposed as a fraud. I received a comment and I think it's really representative of imposter syndrome. It's trying to spread it. So I'm gonna go over this comment real quick. I have some things to say about it. I'm genuinely doing this not to like call this person out. I'm not even gonna include the username. I'm doing it because I think that this is a mindset that should be squashed. Hey there. I've been loving these little update videos. As someone who has a degree in computer science and codes for a living, I just wanted to say that I know how frustrating coding can be at times. It is definitely not for everyone, and I had a lot of really smart friends in college who figured out that it was not for them and they ended up changing majors. If it is not much fun to code for you, it might not be something you want to waste your time to continue pursuing. No shade or anything, I know you are a smart driven person, just wanted to give you a heads up as someone in the industry. Either way, I hope everything works out for you and I am looking forward to your next video. This is like a month ago, about two months into my coding journey, like two months since I had started and looked at code for the first time ever. Well, maybe not two months, February, March, April. So like this is probably four months into the first time I had ever seen code in my entire life. Where some people have literally grown up and their public high school teaches it to them if you go to public high school in like Silicon Valley, where I went to public high school in Anchorage, Alaska. And actually my fifth and sixth grade teacher did teach me how to edit videos, but I don't even think I knew what coding was until I got into college. This comment is essentially promoting imposter syndrome, saying that you'll probably never like doing this. I know because I have expertise in this field, so you shouldn't even try. And I just fully strongly disagree with that. While I don't think that this comment was like necessarily meant with ill intentions, I do think that as a beginner learning out in code, there are just so, 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 so many people that are so much better than you. There is a lot of gatekeeping that I've seen with some of the comments of people who are in the industry and already know how to code and are like, if you don't know how to do it, if you think that HTML and CSS is coding, you know, just like whatever other thing that people have to say, they're just discouraging people from learning how to code. And for me, this is actually a really cool book that's I'm gonna reference. This is um, The Art of Doing Science and Engineering, Learning to Learn. This is cool. I got this book for free through my boot camp because I guess Stripe, the company, is now now has like a publishing company that they're trying to create like content for progress. And so I got this book and I really like this little maybe analogy that I think is relevant, which is it is well known, the drunken soldier who staggers to the left or right with n independent random steps will on average end up about square root of n steps from the origin. But if there is a pretty girl in one direction, then his steps will tend to go in that direction and he will go a distance proportional to n. In a lifetime of many, many independent choices, small and large, a career with a vision will get you a distance proportional to n, while no vision will get you only to the distance square root of n. In a sense, the main difference between those who go far and those who do not is some people have a vision and the others do not and therefore can only react to the current events as they happen. That actually fit like much better than I was even like intending it to. I think when you're trying and when you're starting out in any field, it's just like a little baby. It's like your 11 year old self that you really have to baby and nurture and be like, 
come on, you can do it. Maybe not 11, maybe like a five year old. Like when I was five, I was terribly shy, painfully shy until I was probably like in high school or even like college is when I started really just not, you know, being debilitatingly shy. And now I feel kind of like freed. Like it's like a freeing experience because now I can actually get and communicate what I want. You know, like what I'm saying, it's just like a freeing experience to be able to get what you want. But I just think the point that I'm trying to make is you can never get anywhere if you don't try. And oftentimes, whether it seems like it or not, the things that are really worth doing are hard. And a lot of the time you just don't see the journey of someone who's already gone through those hardships to get to the point where they're at. I just feel like that comment is like, just stop like just don't even go for n like do whatever else is like closest and more convenient for you around you versus going for something that you think could benefit your life and your career long term just because it's hard right now and it doesn't seem to click in your head after three months of trying i don't want to be the person who's like I know how to code, like here's how you can learn how to code. I wanna be that person who's like, I am learning how to code. I am going to learn no matter what. And this is like what I'm doing and the struggles that I'm going through in my learning process. And if you are interested in learning how to code too, you can totally follow along. We can all make this as an encouraging place. I really have to remind myself, like even when I did college vlogs, at the time when I started USC in 2014, YouTube was still like the perfect place. It was like, people trying to give off the perfect image of themselves. And I've just never been that person. I'm a very transparent, authentic person. I'm just always going to tell my journey as I'm going through it. Even in my own TL groups where we're in little sections, we go around and ask like how everyone is doing. Everyone's like, oh yeah, good, like I understand. And then when it gets to me and I'm like, honestly, this is my second time going through it and I still have no idea what's happening, then people are much more willing to be like, oh yeah, I don't, I don't have any idea of what's going on either. And I feel like it only really benefits people to be like self-aware and honest about where you're at. I've only posted two coding videos, but I've genuinely gotten more response and feedback from those two videos than pretty much any video that I've posted in the last year. New and old subscribers, and I was reached out to on all different platforms, whether it be email, my blog, Instagram, DMs, one Twitter. So I don't know, I think that this comment just like kind of rubbed me the wrong way, not probably in an intentional way. Someone who has a, a position of authority telling someone who doesn't that they just shouldn't even try. And that is what enables imposter syndrome. I just think if you have a vision, you should just go for it, especially if you have a strong intuition and it's telling you that you should like do something. So with all that, I'm going to continue making these coding videos. If you're not interested or if they seem like complainy or if I just seem stupid to you, do not watch them. Um, but I think it is genuinely helpful for other people because I've seen people, like people have told me that they really enjoy like watching these types of videos or that they themselves are trying to learn how to code and they just want to see more of it. But today I is pretty much my last class in my boot camp. We have a one week summer break, which I could really use because even though this is the second time going back over this content, this is really the first time that I'm like, this has finally clicked. And it was literally last night, or like over the last two nights, we're doing React, and I, f I just didn't understand the basics of JavaScript the first time, which is the problem I think of some boot camps. It just goes way too fast. But also the great thing about boot camps as like a future of education is you can't really fail unless you choose to fail. So like, unless you withdraw yourself out. And so I'm going back over at no like real additional cost to me. It's just an additional two months added to the program because I'm flexing back. But I finally am starting to understand so I think before this, I was just feeling kind of discouraged and like, uh, just like bland. But now that I'm on like a high in my coding journey and maybe like documenting this will actually help me to remember what these feel like because I'm sure it'll go down again, like that freaking hill thing. Like it's super exciting. So today we're gonna go through my last lecture before break. So I have my stand-up now, which is basically when I we meet with the rest of the group. So I'm probably gonna end this here. I was sent these blue light glasses by Felix Gray. I'm kind of trying them out, but I actually genuinely think they help. I've been working on a video and I've also been learning code. So I spent a ton of time in front of my computer 
and I think these are actually really stylish. I am that person who has literally always wanted glasses and just never needed them, which is really obnoxious. Like, my family wears glasses, and I'm like, I don't need glasses, but here they are. So I'm going to now attend my stand-up. Thank you all so much for watching. Definitely expect more coding videos now that I've just gotten over that little mental barrier of being like, am I qualified to do this? Oh, I'm also starting a playlist so you can like really start from zero, step zero. Um, link will be in the description as well. It's called Learning to Code. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.